Hey, what's up guys? We are in Flagstaff, Arizona, and today we are driving Route 66. So we got these passports from the visitor center, and we can get you can get stamps along the way at different stops along Route 66, and then at the end you can turn it in and get a certificate that says I got my kicks on Route 66. <laughs> the actual highway, 40, and then Route 66 is the red. And so you can jump off and on to follow Route 66, which is what we're gonna do. In like 10 seconds, we're gonna get our kicks, or at least them started on Route 66. And we're on it! Woohoo! Can't forget Winona. Stop at the visitor center. So we can get our passport stamped. Woohoo! There's your Winslow, and then I'm gonna give you this extra stamp in the back here. Oh, exciting. Ooh. Take it easy. Hey, standing on the corner. <laughs> so the visitor center used to be a trading post, and this building is 100 years old this year. We got our stamps. They are the friendliest people. Seriously, they told us all about Winslow. They're so excited to live here, and they are so excited for us to go see everything. <laughs> Totally looks just on, like him. So this is La Posada Hotel. So La Posada was a Harvey house. Harvey houses were along the train tracks for people to stop at when they got off the trains. This guy Fred Harvey was the first to use his name as a brand so that people kind of knew what to expect from them and they would stop at one. So these beams here are from the trade towers when they fell. Uh, Winslow was the first town in America to get a piece of the trade towers and make a little memorial for 9-11. So Winslow is about 60 miles from Flagstaff and right now we're going to jump back on, uh, on the highway on I-40 and we're going to drive into Holbrook. So here in Holbrook, Arizona, this is the Wigwam Motel, which was the inspiration for the Cozy Cone Motel in Cars. This is so cool. <laughs> so cool. So the hotel rooms are super cool, but we also love these old cars. This one has an airplane on the front. It's cool. We're stopping at the courthouse here in Holbrook. Get another stamp. You get at least seven out of the ten stamps. You get a pin yeah. and you get the certificate. Uh -huh. This is like an actual jail cell. That's so cool. This place is so cool. It's got just a ton of old stuff. Did you crack it? Click. <laughs> Click. See if you can open it. Oh, look at all that. Oh, it's already been emptied out. This place is so cool. Oh, it's so cool. Like, we had no idea that the entire thing is a museum. It's a good time to be walking around this museum. Oh, I thought you were in detention. <laughs> I'm playing heads up set. Say something judicial. Order in the court. I said order. Sit down. Nice. <laughs> These books are from the 1850s and 60s. Seriously, if you like old stuff, you've got to stop in here. It's so cool, it's just full of old stuff. Into the rain! We're gonna go over to the petrified forest now. 
So that was really cool. We didn't know there was an entire museum there. And they, they've set up like really cool programs to walk and give you a pin and your Route 66 stamps and Dum Dums. We got some more stamps. We got a brochure. It's a trip planner and it's got all the routes and tells us where to go. Some serious storms going on over there and some sun. So we're kind of waiting to see if we can get to paint the desert on a sunny day. There goes my ride. Petrified. That looks like a dinosaur. Look at him. He looks mean. So there were dinosaurs on the earth when this was an actual forest. But then what happened is they fell down and then they wound up in a riverbed and they soaked up the minerals and the silica and then they were pressurized under all the sediment and eventually turned into quartz. So they're solid rock now. But yeah, still wood. Petrified wood. We are walking in the footsteps of dinosaurs. comparison this is Isa depending on the minerals that it soaked up as it was, as it was sitting in the riverbed that's why it, they all look rainbow colored the car is beyond that hill but the trail goes this way <laughs> there's thunder and lightning the sun's trying to come out but it's not helping <laughs> it's coming down now Car. So, if you're doing a similar route like this, I suggest from Holbrook, take Route 180 and come into the Petrified Forest from the south side and then take this road all the way up through the park and you'll hook into I-40 at the north side. We didn't know that, so we're kind of backtracking now. So we're gonna go back up and hit a few things that we passed and then head on to Albuquerque. So it's a 110 foot log that spans the gully. So that's the Agate Bridge, and now we're going to head over to Blue Mesa. So we're hiking down this mile loop trail through the Blue Mesa, which is a super cool trail. Paper rock and these petroglyphs, some of them are as old as 2,000 years ago. Crazy, huh? They've got these binoculars set up so you can see them clear. So, the Petrified Forest and the Painted Desert here is the only national park to have a piece of Route 66 running right through it. Obviously, it's not here anymore. So, this was Route 66. Along the telephone poles, all the way down, the old ones. But it's definitely worth seeing if you're doing the Route 66 drive in Arizona. So that's it for today's video. We're gonna head out to Albuquerque. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna see the next part of this road trip adventure. And we'll see you on the road. Bye. This is the 1932 Studebaker. New Mexico!